All right, welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. So in the last episode, a little bit stressful. I had to uh, basically, uh, you know, take a break from the scheme after the previous episode since I was getting stressed out. And I apologize um, for, uh, you know, not uh, providing as much commentary at the end there when I was just getting, you know, kind of stressed from uh, what was going on in the previous episode. I don't know how much of that's going to be edited out, but uh, I know there's some parts that I just will have to keep in that I just just forgot to uh, keep talking. Um, you know, that's the difference between playing this game normally is that uh, you don't talk, right? And when you're recording a series, you know, you, you kind of have to keep talking to uh, keep you guys, the, the viewers, engaged. So, uh, let's see here. Um... Yeah, so this is basically the map. The Byzantines are pretty strong going into Europe at this point, butting against Hungary, Croatia, Wallachia, Wallachia, I don't know. As I said in uh, previous episodes, I'm not perfect. I'm going to make pronunciation mistakes, especially when we deal with names from languages that are not languages I speak. So, please forgive me. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, the Byzantines are actually a little bit butting against right here, right below Hungary, and between Croatia, butting against the Holy Roman Empire. The two empires are touching. Um, and we got this massive... Uh, um, this massive uh, empire to the... Uh, to the... Uh, what is this? To the east. Yeah, east. <laughs> and this is pretty big up here. This is uh, the uh, con Conate of uh, Kamania. Looking pretty big. Looks almost like uh, the Mongol Empire. I mean, it is a Tengri. That is the religion. So, I mean, I don't know how early these guys can, but look at this. This is kind of... This is pretty massive. Um, it's a bit narrow, but uh, pretty massive. This is definitely massive. This is kind of, you know... Uh, more Asian-looking people, but uh, mo it, it is an Ashari Muslim uh, realm. And uh, Egypt is pretty strong as well under uh, Ishmaelism, which is still a Muslim, you know, country or realm. Um, and this is also Ishmaelism. This is the uh, Yusufid Emirate. And, uh, yeah, speaking of Emirates, um, <clears throat> uh, we got... Uh, um, our expansion was kind of halted in the last episode, um, pretty pretty drastically. Uh, good thing we united the Spanish thrones um, because we have the um, the Baya Emirate, which is uh, actually it doesn't say that's the em it doesn't say it's an emirate, does it? No, it is the Emirate of Beja. Um, I'm assuming this is Beja and not Baya since this is kind of on the Iberian Peninsula, and I believe in, I believe Spanish uh, J a lot of times makes an H sound. So this is probably uh, Bea instead. Um, so yeah, this Emirate uh, Holy War does, and they wanted to uh, Porto, which is the, you know, kind of the founding area of uh, Portugal. That's kind of where the name Portugal comes from. Obviously, we're, I don't expect Portugal to exist in our playthrough um, under normal circumstances. Um, if we look at this, the yeah, current authority, it's, uh, we have n standard partition, not confederate partition. I'd like to have high partition, that wouldn't be bad, but, uh, uh, situation is not there. Uh, who are we swinging, actually? Nobody. Um, you're pretty close, so we'll start swinging you, 93% chance. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, we lost, uh, Porto to the, uh, Emirate of Beja under a holy war that was, uh, Established by their emir, um, uh, Fadl ibn Muhammad. So, and of course we got uh, the other uh, emirates over here, these duchies of the uh, Taifa states here, like the uh, Dunids, which I, I still think I'm mispronouncing. I'm not bothering to figure out how to pronounce these guys correctly, which is currently uh, being ran by uh, Ishmael II. And, um, at least that's what I'm going to call him, since it's Ishmael II Ibn Yaha, I don't know. I think Ibn Yaha is probably the last name or something. No, Dehunit is the, uh, 
would be the last name since that's the name of the dynasty. Uh, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, uh, I was hoping to chip away at this emirate over here, this duchy title. Um, but unfortunately, we lost. We were not able to keep our grip on Zaragoza, and that unfortunately went independent for a uh, Islamic uh, rule under uh, Mawalidism, and they can keep their religion and their Andalusian culture. Uh, I don't know how long um, that's going to last. Uh, I don't know. We need to look at our situation here, particularly with control, because if control is bad and opinion is bad, um, that's not going to help us. Negative 15 here. Lack of sheriffs, such as uh, corruption. Um, up here it's bad. I just don't know how bad is it, because the debuffs... Like, these guys, they don't have any debuffs. And I don't know if... if um, I don't know the uh, game that well, to be honest. So I don't know if... Um, if increase in county control actually removes. Chance of removing county corruption, 4.2%. Okay, so there's a chance that you can actually remove these... Uh, Corruption debuffs earlier, I guess, if you use the uh, the corruption the uh, control, excuse me, tool, because uh, that's also having yeah lack of sheriffs. You can see that's a major contributor to this negative here. Here it's only negative five, even though the control here is worse, right? It's clearly lower than here, but th th these guys have debuffs. No debuff here. No debuff here. No debuff here. Lyon, which is our main uh, region, no debuff here. Puerto is not under control anymore. That's uh, Emir Fadl's uh, issue now. Uh, I don't know when we're going to get that back, but I hope I hope crap doesn't hit the fan that much that we basically lose. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Nuno II, uh, plus 50 in this region. So this region's doing fine. This region's doing fine. This one has corruption, but it's still overall positive. I don't know how bad the. Uh, I mean, I mean, the thing with these guys is that uh, these dukes and stuff, they should be able to have. They should have their own council, and I believe they should also be able to have the same actions. The question is, is how competent are these vassals that are actually controlling their their domains? Because I'm pretty sure uh, dukes should have basically the same tools. It's just a question of how good is the AI. So I definitely want to target uh, this uh, this county over here. Because I want them to get this before. I mean, actually, November 1093. Um, November 24th, 1093. That's not far away, to be honest, since it's already May 2nd, 1093. But um, still not great. So this place is still negative, mainly because it's a uh, cultural mismatch, because they're Australianese instead of. Uh, of uh, Castellian, which is what we are. We're uh, Castellian. Um, I just want to make sure this is the playthrough where we had, uh, yes, Callistus the Third. I'm pretty sure that's Callistus. I think I was pronouncing it something else in the previous episode, but now that I'm looking at this, this is Callistus the Third, isn't it? Yeah, I think I was pronouncing it something completely different the previous episode, but now I'm looking at this. This is probably Callistus. I don't know. It's an Italian name. So, I don't know Italian. I don't know what the correct pronunciation would be in Italian. So, I'm going to say that looks like, to me, the wind blows today. Looks like this is uh, Callistus. Um, so, Callistus III. Did Callistus III do a holy war yet? No, Callistus the Third excommunicated me. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, we got excommunicated before we even have Rakish, and I think that was because of our good old friend Duke Nuno the Second. In a previous episode, he got us excommunicated when he went to a either independence war or some kind of uh, uh, a crown authority reduction war, some sort of war, fa a faction war that we were in. He got me excommunicated, which is kind of BS because I basically got excommunicated over nothing by Callistus the third so yeah I don't think it actually shows you uh, well Nunia the second is actually not doing very well with his health so because uh, he's melancholic which is depression I'm pretty sure a form of depression isn't it 
and then he's wounded, which, you know, that's gonna heal, probably. There's a good chance that wounded will heal. But, uh, you know, stack up the debuffs, and uh, there's a chance that he might not make it through. So, I'll keep... you can keep that in mind. But, H60 kind of getting old there as well. So, let's see. Uh, the guy that managed to get Callistus III to excommunicate us, we'll see if he lasts. I'm, I am pretty salty over that uh, excommunication. And we're getting some map gore over here. Uh, Lyon is independent. This is France's region, and this is a county. Just uh, two counties under one uh, Liège here. And uh, Upper Burgundy somehow managed to uh, snag, snag a county down here. Foi? I don't know how. I, I I don't know. I'm not ex I'm not an expert in French pronunciation, as I said, with pronunciation. Um, even English pronunciation, I'll probably mess it up, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, so somehow, uh, Upper Burgundy, this duchy managed to claim this piece of uh, land here, and these... Okay, so this guy here, who's basically pulling a realm out of his butthole, is surrounding Barcelona, somehow. So Barcelona's squeezed between this guy, myself, through uh, Alta Aragon, and uh, Upper Burgundy. And, um, you know, we still have uh, province here. Which is a duchy, so there's no kingdom of Burgundy. If um, this duchy somehow became under Liege of this duchy, like it was vassalized, maybe Lyon was vassalized, and maybe even you pull in Upper Burgundy, um, you might be able to pull off a, uh, a Burgund kingdom of Burgundy. But uh, uh, right now, this is uh, in fr this is fractured right now. This is also independent. I'm assuming this would have been independent from the Holy Roman Empire. And then Poland's looking strong, Hungary's looking strong, Byzantine, they're actually dealing with a revolt with the uh, Duchy of Rashka. Just looking at the region here. Where's, uh, where's a region I would actually identify? Uh, what is, where is, let's say, Nitra, for example. Where is that? That would help me understand compared to, like, today. Is it Nitra? Yeah. County of Nitra. Okay, that's way up here. Okay, so this is, this is, they're way down here. Okay. Just, just trying to locate this based on some real life locations that I'm aware of, so. That's, uh... I mean, this is obviously wedged against Croatia and Hungary, but, you know, Hungary in this game, you know, it's covering, uh, obviously it's covering many more countries, right? Uh, because there's a lot of countries in Central Europe that are just not here. Uh, anyways, anyways, we actually, we're like 13 minutes in and we haven't even ran the clock. So, I think, are we even ready to run the clock yet? Instead of you know, looking around your, oh, Aqua Team, by the way, is independent. Uh, I don't know how long they were independent for, but uh, France is pretty small-ish compared to their maximum potential. They were at one point controlling like all of this, so yeah, not doing very well. They must have lost a uh, independence war, which had a bunch of these guys over here, probably Aquitaine, Lyon, and Upper Burgundy, which somehow this was also being controlled by Upper Burgundy. Who actually controls this this actual province? Oh, it's the same guy. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know how that happened. But as I said, I haven't ran the clock once today. So, uh, in this episode, um, yes, I don't, we, we can't have a war anytime soon because we're at like 50% of our like actual levies available. Um, we don't actually have a lot of children, so we don't really need to worry about our sons being used as, uh, uh, as, uh, knights. That's, that's right, I'm looking at the knights window. Levy's not doing well. Uh, not doing well. We need time, we need to run the clock to fix that. We actually have no factions now. I think that was just because last episode we cleaned house with factions. It was brutal. 
Um, and also, not having a lot of children means that we're very weak on diplomacy. By that, I mean alliances. But we do have France, and France, as I said, is our one-trick pony. Which I think Aragon and Navarra, they kind of had the similar thing where like they were just one-trick pony alliances. Yeah, we have a one-trick pony alliance. That's not great. That's not strong. And uh, Alfonso the Sixth, the father of Spain, Rakish, excommunicated by uh, what is his name, Castius the Third, Callistus the Third. I think I was calling Castius last time. I don't know how the hell I was pronouncing this Castius. This is Callistus the Third. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I actually kind of like that name, Callistus the Third. Callistus the Third. Uh, that does sound good. Pretty good for a pope. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, I think it's safe to run the clock. I'm very hesitant to run the clock for some... Oh, okay, this is a uh, sway scheme. I saw this for a second, and I thought this was up here, and I was like, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, okay, culture, 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 culture. We don't actually have to worry about converting anything at this point, because... Um, Basically, we're at a net negative at this point for the war, the war, culture war, war ah, I can't speak, culture war against the Andalusians. So, I don't know, if, do we just want to, like, eliminate Aragonese? Because this is now Andalusian, right? If you look at the cultural map, this is, like, the only Aragonese uh, place left. This is still Castellian. Um... They're going to try to push that for Andalusia because these guys really like to flip culture. Baranus, they might try to flip that. Ah, that's not my issue. That's ah, not going to be my issue for a couple generations, probably. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what sticks on the wall. Uh, I'll probably have to go through a couple generations. We won't even be under Alfonso's line at this point. We will be, we will be going under Sancho II's line. We're going to run the clock, finally. 17 minutes in. Okay, so what do we have here? We have you, Nuno II. Are you going to do me a good favor and try to get back? Um... No, you're actually dealing with a uh, revolt. Actually, if you lost to that, would that just be like independent from the duchy? Probably. And, and still be under my liege, right? Now, let's see here. Who are you? You are actually my subject, right? Because, yeah, that's... Uh, eh, yeah, it's better if you stay in jail. It's better if your vassals are in jail, you know? Especially when you're old. No real reason. Who are you? Are you my vassal? You... Are! Okay. Nope. I'm gonna stay there. If you want to get out of jail, and you're my vassal, you gotta escape. I don't know, like, every time... I mean, you guys literally had a vassal war against me, and now you're asking me, you know, can you just take a couple bucks and let me free? Like, no. If if you screw me over, you know, fool, sh fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, okay? Uh, sister taken prisoner. Did this just go independent? N I felt like this was not under... No, oh, this was under... Uh, the Hooded's and uh, one independent, I guess. Primary heir is you. Oh, how's your? How's this your heir? Because the 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 mayor gets it in this case. Interesting. Uh, uh, let's hope the mayor doesn't get it because uh, then it's not going to be a Catholic. Realm. Can I offer vassalization? Actually, can I do that? That would be proposed alliance. He will not accept. You are not his rightful liege. Not even for law. Well, you know what? Uh, you know what? Because you are a fellow Catholic in the middle of a very Islamic, more than half of this peninsula is controlled by Islam. Look, we want Catholicism here. That's part of the Reconquista. So we're going to actually propose an alliance with you. Yeah, just just to general, uh, we're gonna propose an alliance. If someone attacks you, you know we're gonna be in on this. Um, this is marvelous news. This is, I mean, this is really for you and not for me. Okay. 
the sensible King Alfonso of Lyon. I'm honored by your request, and I would be glad to call you an ally. Signed, Count Jeffrey of Albarakan, Albarasan, which is marvelous news. Gain 20 opinion of me. Excellent. Um, yeah, you're going to have a fun time trying to convert this, but I'm sure as a noble French Catholic, you'll get around to that. Yeah, this doesn't exist, does it? No. The duchy doesn't exist. I was hoping to make the duchy, but uh, we all know what happened to that. Uh, what am I looking at here? 349 men. Not going to be that helpful. He has a single powerful vassal with a third of your men, basically. That's fun. And uh, he doesn't like me. I don't know about you. Yeah, your court's pretty... Your court's like two Catholics. One of them is your bishop. And the rest are Andalusian Muslims, basically. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure how you're gonna how you're gonna fare with that, but um, yeah, I'm not sure how you're gonna last. But uh, you know what? It's good. You know, this duchy's a joke at this point. It's still more men than you, but uh, yeah. Looks like we're dealing with chill. Oh, I'm actually the uh, the Leash here. This family looks pretty uh, pretty not alive. Okay, there's a bunch of people over here, but uh, yeah, very interesting uh, turn of events.